I don't know what I'm doing with this watch. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and fooies for you today and this was a week where I was trying out a bunch of new makeup and I definitely have some standout favorites, things that I am so impressed with, loving so much and I've been playing with all week and I'm just impressed with them. So kind of all over the place, not necessarily like a theme this week. I'm looking at my eyes. I did do this eye look this week and recreate it again today, but I also did other eye looks, eye, eye looks. Mm-hmm, that was eye looks, but it came out eye looks. Don't know. So anyway, that's what we're gonna talk about, so let's get to the favorites. <laughs> so the first thing that I've been trying out this week that I am super impressed with are these Milk Makeup Eye Pigments. They were so sweet and sent me a really pretty box with a bunch of different colors, I think like 11 different colors, so I have them all swatched on my Instagram, so if you wanna see all the different colors, check there, but this was a standout for me this week. This is Gig. So it's like a squeezy tube kind of an applicator so that's kind of a little bit different i haven't used that many um cream eyeshadows that are in a squeezy tube more often than not they've been in like a pot um so that's a little bit different about it but i've mentioned this before i love playing with different kinds of makeup like different ways of applying it different packaging i think it's fun so this one is in a squeezy tube these are so impressive first off they're really pigmented there is one that's more shimmery than pigmented it has a lot more shimmer than the rest of them but less pigment behind it i can't remember the name of that one i'll annotate it i'll try to remember to annotate it um but the rest of them are more on the metallic side less shimmery but they are so pretty so so pretty so super pigmented and these wear like iron so when I swatched these all on my arm, I had to scrub with a really good eye makeup remover to get them off and like for a long time. So that was my first indication that they were gonna be long wearing. And then I tried them on my eyes, same thing. Now I do wear them with something over them. I've mentioned that before. I never really wear a cream shadow just by itself, but you totally could. Um, it's just kind of the way I do my makeup. I usually apply something over it and I'm usually wanting to wear a bunch of different things on my eyes. So I just keep playing and layering and whatever. So I've been wearing them with stuff over them, but you could totally wear them by themselves, but just super pigmented. Gig is like a pretty rose gold kind of a color. Really nice, look how it catches the light. Oh, that's so pretty, I love it. So super impressed with how they look and how they wear. Now, as far as application, so I've tried different ways of applying these. I've found the easiest way to apply them is I get them on my eyes and get the shape with kind of like a flat, small concealer brush, something like that, to just kind of like get the shape and get them on my eyes. And then I'll take my finger and dab to really get that intensity because they're more intense applied with your finger, like anything, any kind of an, a liquid cream shadow you know, tapped on with your finger is gonna be the most intense. But I like to get the shape with a brush, so that's what I've been doing. Shape it with a brush, but then go back in and tap it on to get that super metallic finish. But I'm just so impressed with the wear time on them. They are so good. So I finally had to jump on the bandwagon and try some Juvia's Place palettes, and oh my goodness, the hype is real. These are amazing. So I purchased these two from their website, and then I purchased the Masquerade palette from the Hot Look sale. I didn't realize they were on Hot Look, so I had already placed my order on their website, and then I was like, oh, whoops. But I still was kind of eyeing the Masquerade palette, so I went ahead and ordered that one from um, Hot Look. Hot Look, Hot Look, Hot Look, whatever it's called, I don't know. But anyway, I've been so impressed with these. I wanna do a whole video on them. Let me know if you'd wanna see like a review and swatches video or if you'd wanna see a get ready with me using them or a tutorial or what kind of video you'd wanna see them in. But the standout for me this week that I've been wearing the most, um, this one is the Nubian 2, but I've been wearing this one more. This is the Saharan. I'm loving them both, but this one is the one that I reached for more this week. So I have this shade on my lid today. Goodness, I have this one in my crease, a little bit of that one mixed with this in my outer corner, and these two on my lower lash line. Y'all, these are so pigmented, like just incredible. 
so metallic. The mattes blend really well. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Like I don't want to put them down. I don't want to stop wearing them. So nice. And I found that they wear well too. I, and I, I mean, it seems like most everybody loves these palettes and I can see why because look at that pigmentation. This one is such a cool color. It's like a greeny gold. It's so neat looking, just neat. It's a neat looking shadow. <laughs> Love it, and these two on the lower lash line together. Ooh, that'd be really pretty on the eyes too, like on the lids. Yes, yes, yes. So loving these. Let me know what kind of a video you'd wanna see. Can't wait to get the masquerade because that one has like a lot of um, kind of bright, colorful shades. They all have some like bright, colorful shades, but that one's like blues and purples and pinks. Let me show you the Nubian too real quick. Let me just give you a little sneak peek of that one too. So that one is this one. So really pretty. So I was playing with these colors up here, but most of all, I wore the Saharan. I wore that one a little bit more than this one. And then Beauty Junkies has come out with a bunch of new products. So I have been trying those out and I definitely have some standouts. I'm loving their highlighters and loving their blushes, especially. These two blushes have been my favorite this week and these are the two highlighters I've been loving. So the blushes are, this one is Infinity. This other one is Russet Rose. So I'm wearing Infinity today on my cheeks. And then the two highlighters are Pow and let me get that. This one is Pink Parfait. Pink Parfait is my favorite of the two highlighters. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Let me swatch them for you. Okay, so here are those. So on the bottom is Pow and then Pink Parfait and then Russet Rose. And the top one is infinity so the blushes are a soft formula so they do kick up some product but they're really nice and buttery and pigmented and blend well into the skin i mean just so pretty look at those highlighters so this one pow is definitely more subtle so if you are looking for a more like daytime appropriate work appropriate sort of a highlighter that would definitely be a great option but pink parfait i have a mixed on my cheeks today so I have a mix so you can see them. But most of that sheen is the Pink Parfait. That one's like a gorgeous silvery champagne -y pink. It's amazing. The reason I love these two so much is they're so neutral. So they just go really well with everything. This one may have even be been, this one may have even been better with my eye look at today, like a little bit more balanced. But honestly, I mean, even this one, it looks pretty dark there, but it just blends so well, so it becomes very neutral. It's a semi-neutral color anyway, but once you blend it out, it just blends so nicely. So I'm really impressed with those. Really great company too. I love Beauty Junkie. She's, she has some great products and she's so super sweet. For lips this week, I have one bright color and two nudes. So first off, for my bright color, this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick and this is in Cancun. This is their old packaging, but this is a really pretty like raspberry fuchsia pink color. It's so fun. Now, one thing about this, you know, this is a bright color and I did have to keep checking my lips just, and that's just the nature of liquid lipsticks. I feel like I have to check my lips and the situation, just, you know, the way they wear off and they're all like that on me. This one doesn't do it as much. The Ofra ones don't do it as much. Um, and then the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Liquid Lip Colors, those do it the least because they're more towards like a, a actual lipstick but any liquid lipsticks, I feel like I have to check my lips. So anyway, that's a little side note. So I did have to check my lips with this, but I love that color. It's like a beautiful, just bright, fun shade. I love the scent so much. It's like a, oh my gosh, vanilla extract, super vanilla-y dessert that just smells amazing. So yeah, I wore that. And I wore the, um, with this color, I wore the kind of like, let me get it, like pinkier shade in the um, Juvia's Place palette. I wore uh, this one down here, Fula. I wore that one with the pinky um, 
lip color. So it was like a really fun combo. I thought they worked well together. Ooh, love them both. I feel like they pair well together. So anyway, that was my bright lip color for the week. So one of the new lip colors that I wore this week is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. First off, look at that packaging. I mean, just how it like catches the light. It's so fancy looking. It should look fancy because it's a fancy price tag, but it's a very nice lipstick. So this one is Super Cindy. And this one's really honestly less like nude and more just like a neutral color, at least on me. It's more like a like a peachy kind of a color. Um, it's not like a nude nude on me personally. I don't know what I'm doing with this swatch. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know how that got to be such a giant swatch, but there's the giant swatch of Super Cindy. It's a super giant swatch for Super Cindy there. So it's just a gorgeous kind of like peachy neutral color, peachy nude. Um, but I like it because it has some good color to it. So it's one of those shades that's neutral, but still um, has a little bit of like color to it. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like right in between like has something happening with it but doesn't like conflict or detract or whatever with your eye look so anyway there it is it's like a it's like a satin sort of a finish it's really really pretty I just oh really like odd but really kind of fun shape to it it's like a very angular sort of a shape um lipstick bullet but I really like this. I'm really tempted to get Kim, Kim K, Kim K W. I don't remember Kim something. Um, that shade in this line. So if you have that one, let me know. Cause I've been eyeing that for a long time. I would say, I don't know, months and months. I've thought about getting that one, but I haven't yet. Just have this one for right now, but let me know if you have that one, what you think about it. And if I maybe need it, need. You know what I mean. Then what I have on my lips right now, I have been meaning to mention one of these lipsticks for weeks now, weeks, but they keep living in my purse. So this is the one that I wore this week and I'm so impressed with this lipstick. This is one of the NYX Pinup Pout lipsticks and this is in Silk. Oh my goodness, these are so good. So Silk is a very light sort of a color. So I have this on with a lip liner today. Let me show you the lip liner. Am I wearing it with, am I wearing it with Tawny? I thought I wore it with um, Rock and Rose. Hold please. No, I'm not wearing it with Tawny today. I'm wearing it with Rock and Rose. I switched it up a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit, not by much, but just a tiny little bit. So I'm wearing it with Rock and Rose. So it just kind of gives it some more dimension because by itself, it's very light. But this formula is so nice. It's like, like a satin matte, but then it kind of sets down, but it still stays very comfortable, but it's super long wearing. Like it just, like not like, it's not like a stain, but it wears well like a matte lipstick, but it's really, really comfortable. So I love the formula on these lipsticks. Like. Love them like I love my Maybelline lipsticks. Like I would love to get more shades in this formula because I'm just so impressed by it. So, and really pigmented, like a little bit goes a long way with it. It just has a lot of pigment there, but it like feels so nice on the lips. And then after a little bit, just how it sets down and that helps it just stay and not get all over your teeth or everywhere else or wear off, it just, Oh, it's so good. The wear time is so good on it. So if you've tried these formu this formula, what's like your favorite color in it? I would love to know that. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. And let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.